I'm Sigrid. I'm from Norway. I'm 22. I play music. I write songs and I perform them. So I guess you can call that an artist. You, I lost my cool. It hit me like a sucker punch. Just wanna look and I'm out of touch. I'm freaking out because I'm scared. This might end bad, but I still I, I grew up in Norway and I had a very nice upbringing. I was very lucky and I will never be able to imagine how it is to grow up somewhere where you don't have the same opportunities. I've been extremely lucky. It's crazy. It's like Lotto. I remember I got really frustrated when I was reading the news and I especially remember when I had politics as a subject in high school. It was my favorite subject. Thanks to my teacher, I know. I know it's the, like, she's the greatest teacher. I love her so much. And I remember when she started bringing news into the class and we were all like, well, how can we fix this? And she was kind of, I don't know, taught us the, re the re realism of how things works. And that made me really sad, but also a bit angry and upset of how things work and um, all the ugly stuff happening everywhere. I try to come up with the bad things. So I don't want to be the one I think my home will always be Olesund. I talk about Olesund as much as I can. I think the band are so tired of hearing me talk about my hometown because I, I bring it up in every conversation if possible. It's my favorite place. I love it. It's, it's beautiful. All my friends are from there. They don't live there anymore though. Uh, my family is there and it's just great hiking. It's very calm and I don't know, home is always home but we, I think like being on tour has kind of, it, it turns into this strange feeling of home. It's not like I have it home on tour, but it's homey. <laughs> it's homey with my friends on, yeah, with my, with my band and the crew on tour. Cause I'm scared it's mine and fine, but I still come back for the sucker punch. Just for When I started writing when I was 16, I wrote my first songs back home on the piano in my childhood home. But now I go to different studios um, and I write with people that I know and we just hang out, we drink a lot of coffee, we talk. I think writing sessions are 80% talking. Yeah, it's really exciting. But everything is based around the piano and that's why I think it's so fun to do trio shows too. We do that sometimes. We do it like for radio stations and... I don't know, something to do for TV, and I also have some acoustic versions of this song out, which I think is really cool because it shows another side of the songs. And it's so important for me that every song needs to work completely acoustic without any production or anything. I love production. I really do. And I think it's fun to have something that's like proper punchy, but I, I want them to work acoustic too. That's my goal for a song. I don't need you, but it feels so good. Just just say it as it is to me understood. I would call myself a pop musician. I don't know, I just don't get that star term, to be honest. I don't know, I, I make pop music and I love the music that I put out. That's the most important thing for me. I love pop music, that's my favorite genre. Um, but how I deal with it, with everything happening. I go hiking when I want to. I game a lot of sims like a lot. I hang out with a band. They're great. Having your best friends on tour is really important. We have such a nice crew and um, you know, meet up with my parents as much as I can. Hang out with friends. Just like the normal, normal stuff. I know that my schedule is fucked up, but baby, you know you're the same. And that's why. Uh -oh. I, I have released two EPs. I'm very proud of them. I think they're really cool in their own way. Um, yes, yeah, so that's running out. And I am in the studio. I'm working on new stuff. It is very exciting. And as like when we talked about um, how I write the things, we're still working in the same way. Most of the new stuff I'm working on is made in Norway um, with some very close collaborators. So good, fun. Yeah, writing songs and something will happen at some point. Yeah, I will release an album at some point, but I want it to be completely finished. So I don't have a date. <laughs>